There are two big reasons to brush off and brush up on your flaring techniques. Mini split air conditioners and R410A. Hi, it's Paul again. Mini split AC units are becoming more and more popular and a large majority of the units use a flaring method to join the refrigerant tubes that connect the indoor and outdoor units. More specifically, flares are required on each end of the line set to connect the evaporator and condenser. Since R410A is a much higher pressure than older refrigerants like R22, many split manufacturers often require a larger diameter on the flare. And since bad flares have a tendency to leak, it's handy to use a flaring tool designed specifically for R410A, such as the Yellow Jacket Deluxe 45 degree flaring tool. It features a built-in height stop that helps you meet R410A flaring requirements without the guesswork. Let's take a look at how it works. First, adjust both wheels for the size of tubing you're working with. In this example, we're using half-inch tubing. Insert your tubing into the tool and rest it on the height stop shown here. This automatically sets your tube to the proper height. Close the clamping yoke and tighten the butterfly nut. Here you'll see that the height stop has moved, making way for the burnishing cone. Start rotating the feed screw clockwise to get the burnishing cone going. And stop turning when you feel increasing resistance. When you're done, the flare will fit like a glove. And this larger diameter flare fits in all flare nuts. So you can use this tool for the other refrigerants you regularly work with as well. Many mini split manufacturers recommend the use of an eccentric cone flaring tool. If you use this tool, however, you must compensate for the height of the tubing. So look for guidance for the manufacturer for setting the height. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.